Okay, the domino analogy. Um, let's say we are we're going to be playing with dominoes, much like I did when I was a child. I don't know if I ever played the game dominoes, but I played with dominoes quite a bit, where we'd set up rows of them and um, in a line and and try to come up with the most creative uh, the creative process to knock all the dominoes down. And sometimes you take too tight of a corner, and a domino misses the next domino, and you have to go back and reset. But I'd like to have the dominoes all set up and have someone be able to prove to me for sure these dominoes are all gonna are all gonna topple. So let's say that this is the 19th domino and I want you to prove to me without a doubt that that 19th domino is going to fall. You may want to say well I'm certain the 18th is going to fall and clearly when the 18th domino falls, it's going to tip over the 19th domino. But then, of course, my next question would be, how are you so certain the 18th domino is going to fall? And what if I had 500,000 dominoes and I wanted to know how the 400,000th domino, why you were certain it was going to fall? Um, so you can see maybe the challenge here, particularly if we're dealing with some mathematical formulas along the way. So one process we could do is we could say, well, I guess we better make certain that the first domino in the stack is going to be tipped over. So we may want to show that domino number one tips. And then we could say, well, if domino one tips, that causes two to tip. And if two tips, that causes three to tip. But still, how can we be certain that if 999 domino tips, the 1,000th domino tips? So what we might do then is say, well, if the number one domino tips, I can at least assume a domino tips. I can make that assumption because I know one domino does tip. And now instead of trying to prove that the first domino causes the second domino to tip, I can now try to go about trying to prove that if any domino out there tips, that will in effect cause the next domino to tip. And it seems pretty simple in the do domino analogy, but not so different in the in analogies that we're going to be doing with formulas shortly. So we assume a domino tips and then we're left to show that if a domino tips then the following domino will tip as well. And that way, so if I'm just working with some arbitrary domino out there and I say, if any domino tips, it will cause the next domino to fall, and I know the first domino falls, it will cause a, well, I guess it'll cause a domino effect. So we'll take a look at this on a on another video that is an application into math called mathematical induction.